Well, I think football is a microcosm of life. From an early stage in my life, second grade, I started playing the game. And the interaction of 11 people on a field to play as one is, I think, evident on game day. But all the work, the sacrifice, the dedication that goes into preparing for that one day, to me, is what makes football so special. <laughs> teaches young people about life. Face, 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 face. Rip. The lessons that you learn, teamwork, that, you know, it just goes on and on and on. During practices, if you were to have a camera on me, I think you're going to see someone who's very intense, very passionate, very focused on whatever task we're trying to accomplish in that specific drill. I'm coming hey. fast as I can. I fail as I can. Go, ready to shoot. Go, roll your arms out. I have a lot of fun. I go and attack practice like my hair's on fire. Big, big, big. Oh! I love having a high tempo, high energy, high enthusiasm practice because that's the way I want us to play. So I want that to be ingrained in a daily habit. Your profile. Your hips are here on contact. You got to pop your hips through. Pop them through on contact. All right, let's see it. Yeah, pop them. You know, I evaluate kids and I'm looking at whether or not they've played football their entire life. Well, okay, they've played every year. Have they played multiple sports? Yes, they have. Well, they're going to improve in college. Whereas I look at another kid that, you know, maybe he played football starting at a young age. All he played was football. He's a quarterback. He's been going to a throwing guru since he was seven years old. Well, I see him at a ceiling. There's going to be no really room for growth. What you see is what you're going to get in college. And for me, I'd rather have a young man that wants to improve and get better instead of having all the answers in college. So I maybe look at it from a different perspective. I'd rather have the opportunity to continue to develop young people and to see someone that's going to project to improve instead of seeing someone who's going to project to be at their ceiling and then again, maybe burn out in college. <laughs> You know, philosophically, I believe coaches have to look at one way or another how they're going to have their motivation. And, and for me, we believe in building people up and encouraging them to motivate them. Yeah, There's going to be circumstances that happen throughout the course of a day, throughout the course of a game, that are, you know, make you feel really good about yourself and also make you feel really down and negative. All right, that's great. Ah, come on, go get it. We talk about having a flush it me mechanism, you know, to flush that experience out of your mind, but then use the experience to help you as you move forward. And uh, good, bad, or indifferent, it, it's irrelevant. So absolutely, I believe that that's a major part of my job, is encouraging and motivating guys to help them be the best that they possibly can be. I believe coaches and players should treat officials with the utmost respect. They're the stewards of our game. And when we're dealing with the officials, it comes really at the base about communication. I think every coach wants to know how they can coach their players better. What happened on that specific play that maybe didn't go the way that we thought it, it should have been called or officiated. As you move forward, you just want the game to be fair. And a lot of times, players think or believe that things are happening on the field. Uh, that, that are going against them. And, and so I in, instruct our players uh, to make sure they just communicate with officials and, and, you know, hey, did you see that he was holding up me or that maybe you missed that? But uh, at the end of the day, that I'll, I'll try to deal with the officials from a standpoint of communication and respect. The development of young people, I think, is the number one reason why you should get into coaching. I believe game day is to win. But there's only for us 12 game days and you get an opportunity for a 13th, so you can do the math. There's a lot of other days in the year that you're there developing young people. And I, I still believe you're developing them on game day. A much more important role for us as coaches is to develop young people and prepare them for life. And, and if you have that at your core and your foundation, then I believe everything else kind of falls into place.
Life lessons through sports are endless. Uh, from number one, gaining confidence, learning what it means to have a great attitude, learning what it means to invest, sacrifice, and dedicate over time, learning how to communicate and, and, and trust yourself and trust others uh, by, by the experiences that you go through, developing character. I believe sports make young men and, and, and young women really focused 365 days a year. You have to be someone who's honest, you know, and honest with yourself first. You have to be able to look around at the other athletes you're competing with and say, hey, you know what, some of these young men are a little bit better than I am, but I can improve, I can get better. When you're respectful to yourself, and you're respectful to the game, and you're respectful to those that you play, it's just so much more rewarding. And then it gives you an opportunity to give back. It teaches you how to give great effort, you know, and then it also teaches you how to respond in life. And it's not just about that scoreboard, but I think more importantly, that you do things the right way by yourself and by those that you're around. And uh, you know, I think that's what a winner is defined as.